One of the challenges that we have in education is that we are supposed to do early identification of students with reading disabilities and reading challenges and learning disabilities and language disabilities and we're supposed to see those things early and do early intervention. And there's a tension between that and feeling that all issues lie within the learner. So we're always living in that tension as teachers trying to decide where does the problem lie? Is the problem within the learner or is the problem with the text that I'm using, with the way I'm delivering instruction, with where I started working with this learner. So we have to be looking at everything, not just the student, and definitely we need to consider the status of the first language. But this is where parents can really help us because they know their children, and if they express concerns about their child's learning, we want to really listen hard. Um, the best way to know if there is a disability within the learner is we would see it across languages. We would see it across settings. It wouldn't just happen at school. It would also happen when they're trying to process text other places, uh, in clubs that they might belong to, at home with their family. If they know how to read at any level in the native language, it would appear there as much as in English. So we don't want to suspect disability. We want to remember that reading in a second language is not a corrective uh, approach. It's a developmental approach. They're developing for the first time reading and writing abilities in English. So we don't want to suspect disability, and we have no reason to believe that disability would exist at higher levels in English language learners than it does in the general population, unless we know they come out of a traumatic um, situation in their home country. But we shouldn't be suspecting disability, and yet we're challenged to locate it early, if it does exist, to make sure that we're giving early intervention. So the best way to work on this is diagnostic teaching and also to consider the status of the native language and to look for evidence of reading challenges across languages, across all of the languages that they know. If I'm dyslexic, it's not just going to appear in English. It's going to appear in Spanish or any other language that I know equally. When I do that, I gain more confidence. When I only look through English, it's kind of a weak way of looking, and that's why we feel so insecure. Um, and I think we should feel insecure. I think we should always be looking at ourselves as hard as we look at the student, and we should always be challenging ourselves. That tier one intervention has to be dynamic. It has to be uh, wonderful. It has to be the strongest instruction we could possibly deliver, because then if kids don't make it or they're struggling, we can have more confidence that they need more intensive intervention.